253 videos ago I decided to start this YouTube channel. It was February 2017. I decided it's enough for me to have procrastination and I would like to start a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel that allows me to share my experience as a Magento 2 developer and share my experience and some knowledge with you guys. So 253 videos ago, I made the decision to make a first video that opened my new world of knowledge sharing. Before that, I was having a, a blog, maxpronko.com, where I was sharing my uh, knowledge about Magento 2 related topics. And now we have almost 9,000 subscribers. What it means for me? It means that there are people, developers, and not only developers, who care about Magento 2. Magento 2 open source. Because as we know, Magento 2 open source or enterprise edition, known as Magento 2 uh, commerce edition, is now Adobe Commerce. So basically it's hard to point out what would be the right name for um, Magento 2 as a product, as a platform. However, starting from uh, Magento 2.4.4, we're going to have a rebranding that is called Adobe Commerce. All my videos that I tried to record up until this moment were about Magento 2. However, these videos were covering not only Magento 2 open source, but Enterprise Edition. Because knowledge that I share on this channel it's not only applicable for Magento 2 open source, it's also applicable for Magento Adobe Commerce. I'm going to try and reshape myself, my experience, my messaging, that not only Magento 2 is a platform, but also Adobe Commerce is a platform. Because by the end of the day, all my videos that I share, I create, I would like to reach as many people as many developers as I can, so I can spread the message that will help you, developers, to build Magento 2 products, extensions, websites, and solutions in the right way and the minimum effort possible. My understanding is that since we're going to have this type of rebranding, even admin panel is going to have a Adobe logo instead of Magento, and all the messaging is going to be Adobe Commerce. I will try to stick and also be up to date with my videos and with my messaging that I share across various social channels, various uh, websites I have, so you can get this knowledge in the best possible form for the problem you are trying to solve, whether it's Adobe Commerce or Magento 2 open source. Now we have 9000 subscribers. I have this channel for six years. For some of IT YouTubers, it's considered as a slow progress. And maybe for me it's a slow progress. However, it's a progress. It means that I upload a video, I get some feedback, I get some subscribers. Not all my videos are as popular as I would want them to do. However, it took me uh, five years to find out that 80% of my videos that you guys love to watch and uh, love to share are videos related to scene development. I'm a backend developer. I would say a backend developer who knows what to do on a front-end stuff. So I'm kind of full-stack developer when it comes to Magento 2 implementation. But majority of my videos are backend focused videos where I show and explain how to write backend code. However, there are videos that are front-end related videos, whether it's JavaScript or scene implementation, less files or styles or how to build a scene. And I found out that 20% of my videos, like videos that are related to sim development, are most popular videos on this channel. I would continue sharing sim implementation videos more than backend development videos on this channel. Because you guys require these videos. What I see is that you, you need these videos. You, you want to get explanation on how to build a sim on Magento 2, how to work with sim with Magento 2, how to build this sim from scratch. Because majority of your work when you receive from clients, agencies, your managers, or when you work as a freelancer is to 
how to shape my Magento 2 website in the way and how it might be visually represented to end clients so you can build this implementation according to requirements. And it seems like that you don't have any backend related problems that you are trying to solve while watching my videos. But if I'm not correct, please write me in the comments below this video so I can understand, we can have a discussion, chat. Maybe my understanding or assumptions are not right and I, I have to still focus on uh, backend videos. My area of focus for this channel will be slightly switched in, a, in the way that I would like to share more front-end related videos because my goal for this channel is to grow this channel and by growing I mean like having more views, more subscribers, more uh, watch time, hours and as for this channel it's important for me to get uh, better results so I can uh, spend more time on this channel, um, spend more time preparing topics that would be interest of you and deliver the right messaging for you guys so you can work more efficiently, more uh, productive and build high quality implementations when it comes to Magento 2. However, there is other areas which I would like to cover. And this area is not only related to Magento 2, but maybe PHP related, backend related, frontend related stuff that I'm going to cover. And this is not going to be a Magento 2 focused channel. It's going to be a channel where I share my development programming experience for you guys to become better in what you do. For me to share what I do and maybe one of my videos will help you to become a better professional, better developer, software engineer and maybe it will help you to get a promotion that you were waiting for the last couple of years or to get a certification if you desire to have this type of certification development certification and i'm sure that there are lots of information that i can share on this channel that would help you uh, to shape your skills development skills that will allow you to get to your next level having this channel and sharing magento 2 focused videos as you may notice that on this channel i share uh, not very often. This, there are multiple reasons why it happens. First of all, because of COVID that happened in 2020. Then some personal questions that I were covering during 2021. And it affected my schedule, affected my motivation, because motivation is the key when it comes to YouTube channel. So it's, it's a false assumption that when you have a YouTube channel and you have lots of topics that you can um, record all these topics in one go and share these topics with uh, on the channel. And finally, 2022, where we have a war uh, in my country, in Ukraine, uh, where uh, Russia invaded uh, U Ukraine and all this horrible stuff that is happening, lots of people were killed without a reason and yeah all this affects delivery of a content on this channel but I'm trying my, my best and share dedicate my time to implement some schedule some plan and deliver uh, the right content for you guys so you can continue watching uh, development programming to topics tutorials and uh, maybe have a discussion on one of our live streams and so on. So when it comes to future or upcoming goals for this channel, uh, I'm going to continue creating programming tutorials. I'm going to share my personal experience as a programmer. I'm going to have discussions on how to grow as a professional, whether it's IT or startup or business owner. And also I would like to mention that my key point for this video is when it comes to Magento, because for since 2010, I'm a Magento 2 developer and to, today is 2022, so I'm 12 years Magento developer. I would like to point a message that Magento 2 doesn't go anywhere. And no matter what happens with, with the plans, what, what Adobe decides to do, whether it's rebranding, renaming, or moving to microservices, or moving to Python, or C-sharp. Magento 2 doesn't go anywhere. 
including the fact that there are different streams, different community actions that are performed. For example, a separate topic about supporting Magento to open source by the community, so-called Mosca community, where there is going to be a fork that will be maintained by the community outside of Adobe, and it will be supported in a backward compatible way with additional features that uh, will be implemented and so on. Or, or a separate thread that is called Hiva. It's a very interesting project that allows to basically replace all these PWA studios. I don't know, view storefront, React-based storefronts, headless things that are super trendy for the last few years. Uh, that I'm also going to try and, and see how can I implement for my merchants, for my clients, uh, this new solution that is called Hiva. So instead of going basic Luma or Blank implementations, I'm going to try and use Hiva. So this is going to be part of the topics I'm going to share on this channel, my experience working with Hiva. Also, as you may know, if you are a Magento 2 developer, that such channels as Mage 2 TV uh, by Vinaycop, this channel is no longer supported because Vinaycop is fully dedicated to Hiva implementation. So I hope that we will see from Vinay more videos, educational videos about Hiva. A digital startup that is considered the biggest Magento 2 channel on YouTube. And what I'm trying to do for the last quite few years is to catch up the game of who has the biggest subscriber count when it comes to Magento channels. So as of now, Digital Startup has 10,000 subscribers and here on this channel we have 9,000 sub subscribers and I hope that 10,000 will be this year in 2022. However, unfortunately, Digital Startup channel, the last video was like six or so months ago. So it seems like Digital Startup is no longer releasing new videos. And from the channels where you can get information about Magento, two is M Academy, uh, supported by or maintained by uh, Mark Schust. So it's a, a separate platform where you can learn Magento 2 by following online courses, free and paid ones, uh, and learn how to build better Magento 2 implementations. Mage Mastery is my own project that is also about Magento 2 online courses and implementation, so you can check the link below this video. And Swift Author, it's a third channel I would recommend if you are looking to pass Magento 2 certification. So there are lots of weekly challenges uh, that you may follow in order to prepare yourself for Magento 2 certifications. So these are the news I wanted to share with you and I want to say thank you for supporting this channel, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, commenting to this channel and being a part of this community for the six years and 293 videos. And I'm sure that we will get more and more information, more and more topics to discuss, to share and to talk about on this channel. See you in the next video.